interactions. So you're going to talk about stuff, talk about camp, Lake Bottom, trying to make the video again because we tried to use Hypercam. Oh, no, we tried to use, not Hypercam. We tried to use Bandicam, which is a great thing for animated things that can be done in 10, or animated things, and also things that can be done in 10 minutes. Apparently, this can all be done in 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. It basically stops in the middle of the recording. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use this hypercam here. I gotta use hypercam. We're gonna try it this way and use a PowerPoint to try it this way. So this Camp Lake Bottom, a show I saw on I believe it was 2B TV, whatever the case is. You can also see clips of it on YouTube, and it is a pretty awesome show. It's a pretty silly show. I'm a huge fan of it, but. Uh, you know, at the end of it, you have three characters, and then there are some few issues. But uh, I am a big fan of it, though. There are three main characters. Oh, you have uh, Sam. Well, not Sam. Uh, I always go call her Sam. But no, you go because uh, that's like a typical mm, tomboyish girl name. But no, her name is Gretchen. Mm -hmm. Gretchen. Uh, we have a Guy in the middle, you know, the little dude, uh, the excited little dude, and, and then you have a Square, the uh, chubby one, and then chubby dude, and you're basically they're hanging out in this uh, basically with the counselor with these tentacles in the background and. Uh, Slimy, slimy the ten, slimy the kraken, <laughs> or something. Slimy the kraken, and these ten, and uh, the camp counselors are in the background with a shark or something, trying to not get eaten by it. And so yeah, it's a really silly show. Silly show. Uh, you see, uh, so, no, come on. Gretchen is uh, knows like uh, kung fu or some other martial arts. She likes to fly, jump around and do all kinds of stuff. It's kind of fun. Uh, like that, you have McGee who's all excited. He tries to do some silly stuff. And also often Pratt falls and gets in, gets in trouble with whatever with different things. And Squirt, of course, also Pratt falls, has issues in Pratt falls, and sometimes, uh, at least a few times, has been uh, became uh, the monster of the day. <laughs> you know, you know, he said he ate something he shouldn't have eaten, or did something he should have done, shouldn't have done, and then you know, basically that causes problems right there. <laughs> you know, that causes problems, and you know, they have to, you know. We have to, you know, he and Gretchen and the counselors have to help you know, bring him back, you know, make, make it so he's human again. And you know, it can be really silly and fun. And also kind of weird. All right, let's see here. Continue on. PowerPoint presentation. Go. It's like new campers came later. I say new campers came later. Yeah, yeah, this black girl. I think it was the only black, one of the only black girls and white people in the whole show. And yeah, this, this nerd, little nerdy dude here. Uh, and they're hanging out with Rosebud, the lunch lady. Eating something that looks like worms, because mm, yeah, usually she likes like to make that. And I was like a black girl and a nerdy dude. Mm. They were fun. They were a fun addition. They were only they were only with the others for like one episode. Mm. And they were only for like one episode. They were there because they, they were they were from the uh, rich kid camp from across the street, all across the lake called Sunny Smile Camp. Sunny Smiles. They were kicked out for silly reasons. Namely, I think the nerdy boy was kicked out because he like tripped and fell or something like that, and the girl was kicked out because she did make fun of him. I get. I think. I think that's what happened. Didn't make fun of him. Uh, so they're like, oh, you're with you're 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 a military nerd too. So you you're out of here, <laughs> you know. And it's really stupid, and yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they, they hang out, hung out for a bit, and actually had a fun time. But they basically were background characters. Mm -hmm. They were in the background for you know most of the episodes when they went to Camp Sunny Smiles. They would be hanging on the background, getting scared by monsters. Or and running away from stuff, or, or kinds of different things like that. That's how it would go. You know, uh, I'm glad that they finally were allowed to come in and actually, you know, get voices and hang out for a bit. You know, but it was only for one episode, and uh, yeah, then the show was, was one or so episodes, and then the show was over. <laughs> you know, the the season, the series was over. So yeah, I kind of liked. I did like seeing them. I, I didn't like that they were trying to be you know, like the camp, one of the lake bottom campers, or trying to be all nasty like them. Just in some ways, because it's like, no, see, come on. You know, some of that stuff, I'm like, okay, yeah, you have no choice but to eat the food, deal with, you know, basically mud and, you know, whatever, and monsters and things, because, of course, Camp Lake Bottom is full of monsters, <laughs> you know, full of nasty stuff, but, yeah, no, you know, please don't be farting, please don't be doing that, <laughs> you know, the girl's seriously, you know, so, and I was like, yeah, no, I was not because of that, um, but, yeah, you know, overall, they had a good time, you know, it was nice to see him hang out at least a little bit. Was here, uh, you know. I say then there are or Susie and Butt Squat. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, they are from the rich kid camp from across the lake. You know, so Butt Squat is the leader of is the lead is the le basically the the leader of the rich kid camp. 
Yeah, Susie is uh, the fashionista girl who doesn't want to be bothered unless it's to, to get more uh, beauty products and whatnot. Mm, so she look, continued to look um, beautiful and whatnot. So it's was like, yeah. Mm. And also, she's related to McGee. Mm, so it's kind of awesome too. There you go. It's like they can cause problems for the camp. Like, they can cause problems for the camp bottom. The camp, the lake bottom campers. And sometimes they need them to save them. Yeah. So they every now and then at the, for the first season, it was like you had. Um, uh, but Squad and Susie would would cause problems, and you have to deal with that. But uh, towards the second season, when the second season started, or you know, getting closer to the second season, you know, basically they start would try to do something, you know, like normal, cause problems like normal, and then all of a sudden the, the monster of the day would appear and cause problems for them, and they'd have to run and maybe even join the crew for a little bit to fight against the thing. And it was great; it was great to see how that tur- that turned out. You know how that that relationship kind of deepened a bit. You know, it was really cool. You know, it was really cool. It was, it was nice. And it's like, I gotta go to the counselors too. Sometimes, they, yeah, sometimes the counselors do need, do need saving. And sometimes they become the monsters of the day. <laughs> so that's how it works. They are a silly trio. Sawyer, the zombie, is the nicest. Mm. You know, he has a detachable arm that is sometimes a chainsaw like Ash from the from Evil Dead. As long, as long as there are no other zombies, he doesn't want to eat brains. His mom came once and changed all that. Mm. Yeah, that's his mom. So Sawyer's mom, yeah. So basically, Sawyer's mom came over and basically, t- you know, basically, uh, to, you know, convinced him to try and try to eat the camper's brains at least for a little bit. But he, you know, he <laughs> was a little bit. And he's like, and I say, but sometimes he can persuade her not to eat people, just like she can persuade him to do it. Mm-hmm. Eventually, uh, he found like some brains that um, were not the camper's brains. <laughs> so it's like, okay, mm, but we're not the camper's brains. So yeah, mm. you got to hang out. Mm. So she got to hang out and eat, eat a brain, but not you know, the campers were able to hang out as well. So it was nice. Mm. Yeah, there, there. That was cool. Then there's Rosebud, the lunch lady. Mm. She makes all kinds of weird things that sometimes are edible and sometimes become monsters. Mm-hmm. She is super cute, but may have a dark past. Mm. And you can see her with her uh, little uh, Van Helsing outfit <laughs> and a hammer. And yeah, yeah, she gets basically this hammer. It's like there's this hammer. What happened was he got this hammer. No, this 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 axe. And I think it was like once she was a monster hunter and she was hunting uh or like other counselors, but then just like started to like them, so she liked to hang out with them and make lunch for them. <laughs> make uh, food for them instead and be the lunch lady for the thing. And then I think one time a, a, either another hunter, someone she related to, or an alternate version of her came along and started causing you know, trouble and she had to fight with him and with her and she you know, that, that, that other one was using an axe she had to use a spatula so they had to fight it was, it was a lot of fun here then there's Armand the Sasquatch well, all the Sasquatches try to be tough he is a bit of a softy but he also likes to perform on stage and so does she does she ever get a name I don't know that caused a serious problem in one episode when Armand snuck into one of her performances and cheered. Mm. She kept screaming even while he was trying to calm her down. So he picked her up by the hair and threw her. Mm-mm-mm. When I saw that, I said it's almost the same thing Jack Sparrow did when Gibbs threw his hat. Mm-mm. Now go and get her. <laughs> That's what I was like. It's like, ah! ah. I was like, no, it's like, oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. You know what? It's like, ah! <laughs> Grab. I was like, no. I'm like, now go and get out. <laughs> As I was like, no, <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> Thankfully, they learned to get along later. <laughs> Man, she was cute. <laughs> and that is all the main characters. <laughs> there were some minor ones, including some doppelgangers, but they were only in a few episodes. <laughs> they were cute too. You know, this fish Gretchen, and basically you had these these fish these fish theme basically ocean bog swamp thing themed character versions of them of the main campers and uh they were they were having a fun time but there was like basically unlike you know with the um lake camp lake bottom campers who have like butt squat who basically will be like i'm gonna release a stink bomb you know into the the camp camp lake bottom camp you know and cause problems like that they had their bully the bully for the fish girl fish campers was a giant kraken, you know, butt squat like kraken that wanted to eat them. <laughs> okay, so it was like, no. So when they, there was one part where the uh, Lake Bottom campers took a submarine, somehow got a submarine, took it into 
the uh, Camp Lake Bottom, you know, the uh, fish bottom, really fish lake bottom campers, whatever they are, took uh, got got to where they they were. These fish people were, fish kids were, and hung out with them for a while. Then the, the uh, kraken appeared, and they ran. The, the kid, those kids ran off, <laughs> okay, and, and, and uh, basically abandoned the Camp Lake Bottom campers at least for a little bit because they were uh, like, oh god, this guy's coming to eat us, run, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know, they eventually realize they're gonna eat them. Oh no! We, 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 we gotta say we gotta help them. We gotta help them. All right, let's go. Let's go. So they came out. You know, so they eventually worked together to help them. They eventually worked together to help them out, and then they were able to just they were able to, to you know basically drive off that that cracking butt squat octopus thing at least for a while. <laughs> So it was like okay, you know, that was really cool how that they really came together on that. But that was that was one or two episodes, so yeah, not, not, not exactly the deepest thing ever. But you know, still better than you know, I thought it would be. So it was nice. And the only problems that I have with the show were these "don't do that" moments. Mm-hmm. They include farts and uncomfortable situations involving underwear. As, as you can see, McGee, uh, you know, basically is in his underwear and farting. And basically, here's the deal. Um, there was a, um, yeah, to- yeah, definitely, as the show progressed, he would be in his underwear more, and farting more, and it was just nasty, and because the issue is he's a kid, and the issue with that stuff is he's a kid, and it's like, this isn't fan art, <laughs> okay, fan art is one thing, okay, there's a fan art where it's just like, okay, this is fan art, Some well, one or two people made this, <laughs> you know, that are not connected with the show, they, they just like the show, and wanted to show that how they like the show, and I mean fan art, okay, and uh, the, you know the fan art has different things happening with the different kind of campers and whatnot. And I'm like, okay, some of that stuff I like, some of that stuff I don't like because my gosh, that's effed up. But <clears throat> that's fan art. But when it happens in the actual show, you know, with the actual campers and the actual characters in that show, it's kind of uh, disturbing, <clears throat> okay. So yeah, I'm like, no, I'm good. Uh, and I was really a fan of that, you know. And then it's like this this year. Oh yeah, Gretchen wants to be one of the guys, and I have no problem with that, except for the fact that she tries to outfart them and sleeps in the same room as them too. <laughs> yeah, she does. She basically was hanging out. <laughs> she for some reason they have like one. Their cabin is like just one room, <laughs> three beds in it, <laughs> you know. And the boys sleep in like a bunk bed, some bunk beds, and the girl and Gretchen sleeps. Uh, in the world. I can move this. Yeah, move this back. Move this up. Mm, what the heck? Mm, I don't understand how that happened. Right, so Gretchen sleeps in this bed here. Okay, there's no walls. <laughs> there might be a curtain, but uh, I think that's for the window. Whatever the case is, I'm sorry. That just doesn't. That's just not cool. <laughs> you know, she's a girl. They're boys. You know, they should definitely have their own privacy. You know, so that should not be happening right there. <laughs> so that was my. I didn't really like that. And the, the farting thing. Was definitely a problem because I'm like, uh, yeah, while you know, I'm not gonna say no, you know, girl, it's impossible for girls to fart, or they shouldn't because that's not proper. I'm not gonna say that because you know, you know Shrek said, uh, better out than in, <laughs> you know, you know, it is true, it's just it's true, you know, you're all bubbly, <laughs> you need to figure that out because that's that's a crazy stuff, <laughs> you know, of course, be careful about that, <laughs> you know, uh, polite about it, you know, <laughs> figure that out because uh, that's nasty, but. The issue is there were parts where you see they would aim, you know, they would basically fart. They would aim to fart at Butt Squad or Susie or whoever, you know, they would aim them. And the green cloud, they would basically use green clouds to show that stuff. I'm like, no, no, it's not cool, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't show that, you know. And there's this part here. Mm-mm. It's like, at one time after Squirt and McGee had a falling out, the chubby cherub said, But who's going to trade underwear with me? Then he looked at Gretchen. <laughs> I don't know, like, and I said, don't, Then I said, Don't do that. <laughs> you know, I was like, Look at that Gretchen. I'm like, No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'd be thinking of? No. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. See what I mean? <laughs> you know? Yeah, so I'm like, there was, there was a problem with the show. There were issues there with that, because I'm looking at that like, ugh. That's, that's nasty. That's after all. Yeah, I'll be looking at her like that. You know, other than that, other than moments like that, it is a good show. It is really fun. You know, Flash is amazing. Um, yeah, animation was really good and uh, really fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of cool things they could do in there. 
Joe was going to go. They did it there. You know, some things they didn't do, but they could have done. It was really nice. Now I'm off to review the next show I watched online before I got HBO Max. Lucky Fred. Mm-hmm. Lucky Fred is awesome. I like it um, in my favorite, uh, a bit better than, uh, can't believe about him. At least when it comes to uh, don't do that moments. <laughs> there are way less. <laughs> so, yeah, I like that. It's like, check me out on YouTube and DeviantArt. So that's that. It's the end of our presentation. Lucky for no. Uh, can't believe about him. It is a fun show. It, was, it is a fun show. I really enjoyed it. And a lot of fun stuff in it, but of course there's some silly stuff that makes no sense. That uh, takes me off, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that you, the black girl and Armand actually learned to get along a bit, and uh, he learned to not throw her, <laughs> grab her by the hair and throw her. So that was nice. <laughs> you know, he stopped doing that. <laughs> so that was cool. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.